but I absolutely love this package. <laughs> All right, so we got some dried tofu, or tofu gen here. Snacks from Taiwan, and because we have some dried fruits over here, we've got these different savory okay. snacks, some sweet snacks, black sesame, mm -hmm. some nougat snacks, and these are dried tofu. You know, the little dried tofu. Would you like to start? Should we salty to sweet, baby? Sure, yeah, I think that might that might work out better. Let's start with the tofus. All right, we're gonna start with the tofus. All right, so we got some dried tofu, tofu again here. They sell these in the U.S. Yeah, obviously. So we've, I've seen them. I mean, you've probably seen and them. And I'm a big fan of them here. So right, looking cool. forward to trying these ones so out. This is uh, this was bought in um, near Taizong. I think the city okay. is um, Sanya. It's like a snack company. So this one on our left is Xian Su Ji Feng Wei. So it's like the pepper salted chicken, crispy chicken mm -hmm. flavor. This one is Sa Cha La Dou Gan. So this is like the Sa Cha sauce. Like the stuff you use in your okay. Yeah. So which one do you want to start with? Let's go with, um, let's start with the chicken and then go with the la because I'm a little All scared right. of how spicy things could potentially be. Let's try this chicken dried tofu snack. Right, so it looks about, you know, how it looks how like what I would expect. Those, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, let's, let's try it. There's a, t a little bit of a kick. Mm -hmm. They're good. And it doesn't taste too much different from the ones that are actually bought in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So, right. what do you think? Out of 10? Uh, well, I'm a big fan of tofu snacks. So, of the tofu snacks that I've had, probably a 7 out of 10. Mm, okay. So, I actually haven't had them in a while, but this one I could I could be eating. And mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I would get kind of tired of it yet, but I, you know, maybe I would, but it's definitely something I could really snack on. So, I'm going to give it an 8. I think this is pretty good. Okay. I'd recommend it if you actually come across it. Now the next one is the sa sa sauce, so kind of like sometimes called the Chinese barbecue sauce. Right. So definitely, I'm a fan because when I go to hot pot places, I, I do like sa sa. Yes. So. Mm. 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 I don't taste sa sa. It does taste different. It tastes different. I like it. This one actually, I do think this one tastes. It's a little spicier. Better. To me, I mean, they both taste pretty good. This one I would prefer. I agree. So what's these. your rate? What's your? I rate? would go with a maybe a nine five. Ooh, I that's really like these. Hot, I would eat okay. these over the chips. Okay. I actually like these two. These are these are a nine, solid nine for me. Mm -hmm. So here is peanuts. So I, I think am this a fan is... of peanuts. What was this? Bo pi. I think it's called Bo pi la. Or Bo pi. Bo pi la. Hua sen. Let's try these out. Peanut time. Yeah. All right. Oh, it has a different Thirsty. texture. These are pretty good. I like them. This one's pretty good. It is pretty good. I think gonna, we both we both agree. This? So I'm gonna give it a nine five. Okay. I think this is this is a good snack. A good peanut. I'm pretty giving it a nine five. Also, this <laughs> one's a good one. This is a good one. I think yeah. that's it. That's definitely a recommend and a keeper. Mm -hmm. I'll even clean these off. <laughs> We've got a green onion cracker. These are individually wrapped. Oh, interesting. Ah, definitely green onions baked into the cracker, which I like. like a little toasty. Like they do toastier. look like they're toastier. Not super heavy on the salt, which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. So it's got a very mild flavor, but the green onion, you can taste the green onion. I, I like these crackers. So these... Radish, radish cookies. Right. This one is pepper flavor here, English. This one, there's no English, but it's wasabi. And then this one I think is the original. Okay. So why don't we start with the original. Okay. Okay, so they're like little, little cracker type. Mm-hmm. I like these. 
Yeah. Interesting. All right, should we try another flavor? You want pepper or wasabi? No. Um, I would like to try the wasabi. Let's check out the pepper. Very mild pepper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I like them. As a whole, the snack, I'd probably give it about a six and a half. Okay. Have you seen this before? No, but I absolutely love this package. <laughs> I am a huge fan of this little astronomer wizard. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't even know what it is inside, but so I don't care. You, I'll let you open it and, and do your discovery. And I cut it open feel and... as though it feels a little bit like uncooked ramen, which is a little odd to me, but there you go. And I was correct. It is literally, oh, it's, oh it is ramen. Mm -hmm. So I think it's like in Taiwan, it's very common to eat this as a crunched up. Huh. And then you season it and you just eat it like that. With so no hot seen, water. With no hot water. And I've seen people do it here with some ramen packets as well, but it's a good and you can put it back in there and you're supposed to actually crunch it up. In the bag. Put the, yeah, then you're supposed to powder, put the powder on it. Interesting. It's like so you break it up. Magic. <laughs> so break it up first. Yep, so you just break it up and then they become like become like small bite-sized essentially pieces. Okay. Then you go ahead and, oops. And you go ahead and tear this guy off the of Okay. And it becomes the seasoning. And then you just yep. Get a little, yeah. little of that flavoring powder. It tastes like like a cracker, kind of. Mm -hmm. um, huh? I like it. All right, it's cool. So interesting. All right, how would you score this, this as a ten? I would definitely eat this again. So I would give it probably a seven. Okay, this is new gifts. And this is a black sesame that you get. There's no green one in the dish. So these you actually have to bake for about four to five minutes. It's really because the nougat is pretty hard and it's not Interesting. Warm. Okay. So let's go ahead and put these into a toaster oven. And we'll be back to try them out. We'll be back. This is interesting because I don't think it's bad, but it probably wouldn't be my favorite go-to snack. Mm. So let's try the black sesame. Mm -hmm. I would go with this one over that one. Um, this one also because I like black sesame. It's like, I, I can, you know, it's right. Like, it's got that flavor. Right, right. So yeah, I prefer this one over that one. Mm -hmm. I still am not sure I would choose this as my go-to snack mm -hmm. though. All right, we are moving into our fruit section. We've got four dried fruits here. Okay. And then this is dried lemon, which I think is something I haven't really seen. Lemon. And then that one is guava. So why don't we start with the smallest one? Oh, interesting. Look, I was not. Oh, this is oh. not what I would expect either. They are mm. still slightly wet. They are dried, definitely just look like a slice of lime or lemon. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. Flavor's pretty good. It is, yeah. Ooh, smell that. Very, very strawberry. Yeah, and this, they look like. They look like they are actually. Like dried strawberries. It's soft. Ooh. Very intense strawberry flavor. I think higher, high, ranked higher than the lemon for me. Mm -hmm. but, but I don't feel like I could eat more than like maybe two or three of them at a, at a sitting. Yeah, it's pretty strong. It's kind of intense. Strong. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they definitely look. They don't look as wet as the lemon and the strawberry. Oop. Oh yeah, they definitely look dry. More, They're more dry. More dry. <laughs> it looks good. Very intense pineapple flavor. I, I feel like I could give this like a seven or eight, like just comfortably as a Yeah. I, 
I would I would agree. Mm -hmm. Final one here, the guava. So have you had Bala. Taiwan guava? I have. Okay. I definitely have had that. I've never had dried guava before mm -hmm. though. Oh. It has more of the texture of a dried mango. Mm -hmm. I like it. I think this is my favorite. Mm -hmm. I like it. But as far as dried fruits go, um, I give this eight and a half to nine. Me too. I really right? Yeah, eight and a half or nine for me on this one too. So, all right. So those are some snacks from Taiwan and our ratings. So back to some Chinese. She just okay. 如果你喜欢这个影片，按赞、分享、订阅，然后也可以追踪我的 IG。So thanks for joining, and I hope you enjoyed it. And、uh, you know, I'll be leaving some of these snacks for you, so you can you can still think about it. Happy snacking! Bye. -bye. Okay, so the nice thing about this one is they are.